Hi, my name is Mark Patterson and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. Today we're going to be looking at this, um, this part, this scan data in Geomagic Design X and we're going to be reverse engineering it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it into region grouping, click the checkbox and let it do its work. Uh, region grouping is based upon curvature of your scan data. So it's going to region out what it thinks each section would be. So a plane, a cylinder, you know, and a sphere, um, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and check that off. The next thing I usually want to do is I want to align this to my world. Um, so I'm going to use our align wizard and just let it do its thing and it will automatically align it for me. The next thing I would go ahead and do is I would start uh, to, you know, extrude this out. And we're going to use our extrusion wizard, which you pick the sides and then you pick a top and a bottom. So I'm not going to choose a top so I can extrude it past that lofted surface. And then I'm going to click next and accept it. And what it does is, based upon the sides, it draws out a sketch for you. And then the top and the bottom help it to, um, help it to extrude out. So, now that's done, the next thing I'm concerned about would be that lofted surface. So I'm just going to click on it and just extend my lofted surface out past, um, out past my, my block. So it'll be a cutting tool and it'll cut that extrusion away. So I'm just going to click check. and accept it and so now I'm going to use that as a cutting tool and bring back my surface um, my extrusion I mean and you go to my cut tool select the cutting tool select the target and then my remaining body and check that off so far so good so next thing I'm concerned about is this piece right here I want to cut that out so I'm going to use my extrusion wizard again and I'm just going to click that and choose a bottom and change this from solid merge to a solid cut and continue and it will automatically do that for me. But if I want to edit that, that's not a big problem because in my model tree I can always come over here to the side, right click and edit my sketch. But it's good for the moment so I'll continue onward. The next thing I'm going to do is grab these revolutions um, and doing this is just easy with the revolution wizard. Uh, really does like all the work for me, you know. So I'll click next and there's my part. So I'll click check again. Let's take a look how it's coming. It's looking good. It's coming well. So next thing I'm going to do is... Um, you know, maybe maybe one more of these revolutions. Or actually, I'll do a slot. I'll do a slot. I'll do one of these slots really quick using our extrusion wizard again. You know, really simple stuff. Just choosing your sides to give you a um, to give you a sketch. And I'm going to change this to solid cut. And I'm going to change pick my bottom as that plane and go ahead and see what it looks like. Click check. And now I'm going to bring back my solid body and let's take a look at how much I've done in the short time I've got. Um, so, you know, I've done almost 50% of this part in a couple of minutes and you know, very simple to use, very easy to use program, but you know, not every single thing you're going to be using an extrusion wizard for. And that's really where you have the luxury of, you know, uh, using cross sections. And these cross sections are really great because you can use, um, you can do it by using a line, and it'll take a cross section and get the polyline off of your STL. The other thing you can do is you can choose a plane and say I want to do an extrusion or a, um, a section based upon you know this plane right here there it is and 
I can move it up and down, you know, and get those lines, those poly lines off of that. So, you know, DesignX is a very versatile program and it can be used for any type of reverse engineering based upon scan data. Um, and the last thing that's really handy about this program is, um, you know, to do, if you want to do drawings in another program where you're more comfortable doing your drawings in another program, um, uh, which you'll have to do, you can do a live transfer, which takes your entire, entire model tree and transfers it over to these programs. Um, so, you know, very great program, and you can use it pretty much for anything. So, thank you very much. If you have any questions or would like to know more, uh, please visit our website at www.gomeasure3d.com and go to our contact page. Thank you.